Hello and welcome to another fabulous day of art. This is your art teacher here. Uh, this is for my kindergarten friends. Kindergarten friends, hello. This is uh, uh, one of our lessons. If you didn't get to catch it, this is going to be our painting lesson. All right. Uh, I did send out um, uh, here at my school where the mascot is the tiger. Um, for my kindergarten students, I did send out for you a packet if you are learning virtually. Um, so this <laughs> packet uh, has what you need in it for this lesson. It says K. Uh, do not open yet. Uh, it's for your virtual art class. All right, but if you missed your virtual art class and you're watching it here, uh, go ahead and get that packet out. In this packet, I have included a lot of handy stuff to be able to get this done today. I have included a nice little watercolor set. Look, because we're going to talk about painting today, so we're going to learn how to paint. All right, so you're going to need your little watercolor set. All right, to be able to do this with. Uh, so if you're at home, use whatever kind of paints. If you didn't get a kit, use whatever kind of paints you got. All right, but we need kind of a nice little selection of paints here. I just got one of these standard watercolor washable paints. All right, I'm also going to need, I've got a paintbrush. I've, I've actually got two paintbrushes in there for you. So there should be one in the watercolor set, and then there's another one that I put in there just in case because sometimes they break. All right, so I've got the paintbrush all right for you the paint set um a little bit of tin foil this is uh you'll see what this is for later so i want you to just open this up and put it to the side all right uh don't play with it quite yet all right go ahead and go get a cup of water all right so wherever you are all right wherever you're spending quality quarantine all right go ahead and go get a cup of water put some water uh uh in the cup make sure you get your paintbrush nice and wet all right that's what kind of helps activate the paint all right so get your paintbrush nice and wet and let's get started so Today, uh, we I usually start this lesson by reading um, uh, White Rabbit's colors, and it talks about the primary colors and uh, how to mix colors and what different colors make. We can't read that today, but I do highly recommend you get a copy uh, uh, to read uh, uh, or to, to own uh, if you'd like. So wherever you like to get your books from, I uh, highly recommend White Rabbit's colors. Uh, uh, you can see if your local library carries it. Um, highly recommend this one. All right. So... All right. I usually start by reading that, and then we talk about. So we're just, we're going to start by painting a rainbow step by step. Okay, you got to stay with me. All right, it's important to stay with me because I've got some cool things to show you while you're doing this. Okay, so the first thing we, what we need to do get a little bit of water on our paintbrush. All right, and then I'm going to get some red on my brush. So get some red paint on your brush. Okay, get some red on my brush, and then I'm going to paint a nice big woo, all the way around. Oh. Gonna need some more of that, it looks like. All right. All right. Paint some red up here. That's gonna be the top of my rainbow. That's gonna be the red. And you just keep going until you get as much red as you need to get on there. Might take a few, few goes on there. Get some red on your brush. And paint a nice big top for your rainbow. Woo! Awesome. All right. So I went over it a couple times to get it nice and dark red. Have you noticed that the more times you go on top of that line with your red, the darker that red is going to get, right? And because I've got mine, you're going to notice today, because I've got mine kind of hanging up so you can see it, it's going to drip a little bit. Just ignore that. You're going to have yours flat on a table, I assume, so it won't do that dripping. All right. Next, can I just take my paintbrush all dirty and full of red? Can I just go and dip it in the yellow? No, I can't do that. I need to what? That's right. I need to wash my paintbrush out. So this is getting you this magical rainbow picture. The whole point of this is to practice and to really get in the habit of, okay, I need to rinse my brush out before I go to a new color. We're also going to talk about how we take care of, so that's taking care of our paints and making sure that they don't get mixed together and get all dirty and icky. All right. Cleaning your brush is important. Also taking care of your brush. Um, can I take my paintbrush and just smash it onto the paper? No! What's going to happen to the hairs of the paintbrush? They're going to go out like that and they're never going to be able to get back together, right? You got want to really 
take care of your paintbrush when you're painting. Lightly paint on your paper. Don't smash your paintbrush into the paper. I like to pretend that there's a little bunny and the bunny is hanging on to this little metal part of my brush and his little ears come up to where the hair is. So if you smash your bunny onto the paper, his ears are gonna get hurt. Don't hurt your bunny's ears. So that helps my kindergartners kind of imagine. Uh, it's a little fun way to imagine and uh, that, that you know, you've got a little pet on the end, pet little bunny, uh, pet bunny on the end of your paintbrush and you don't wanna hurt his ears. So lightly paint, okay? Don't smash your brush into the, into the paper, okay? Now that my brush is all clean, I can go ahead and get some water on it and get dip it in the orange. Okay, orange is my next color. So I'm gonna get some orange on my brush for my rainbow. Okay. I'm gonna paint my orange. And you might have to paint a couple of times to get it to show up. That's okay. I'm going to go ahead and paint my orange for my rainbow right under that red. Awesome. All right. Now, can I just dip into the yellow? No. I need to what? Wash that brush out. That's right. Wash your brush out. Get your yellow. All right. Get your yellow on your brush that yellow underneath that orange. Awesome. If your painting looks a little too dry, like there's a lot of skips in between the uh, the paint, it just means that you need some more water on your brush to kind of, the water helps kind of spread the paint on the paper, right? Now, what would happen if I put way too much water? If I keep painting and keep putting water on the same spot, what happens to paper? Do you know? Yeah, what's that? Yeah, you got it. If you put too much water in one spot on the paper, it's going to start to make a hole. Okay, so you want to get your brush wet and you want to use that for the paints, but you don't want to keep putting water on the same exact spot on your paper or it's going to start to make a hole. All right, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off my brush, get it nice and clean. Okay, so I can go dip it in the green now. Keep going on my rainbow. Get some green on my brush. And do some green underneath that yellow. Paint my green. All right, awesome. Now I'm gonna wash my brush again get some blue on my brush and paint my blue underneath that green. Remember, it's important to rinse your brush out before you dip it in a new color because you don't wanna get your colors all mixed up and get them all icky. You wanna keep them nice and clean. Whenever you're moving to a new color, gotta rinse your brush out so you can keep your paints nice and pretty and clean. All right, after I've done my blue, I'm gonna rinse my brush out again. Ooh, check out your water. Your water's probably changing color. Ooh, check that out. All right, now I'm gonna get some water on my brush and get the purple, purple. Put some purple on my brush and do the purple. There we go. Get some purple going there. Yay! All right, once I've done my purple, I'm gonna rinse off my brush again, and I'm gonna put some blue back on my brush. I'm doing this because I wanna make some blue clouds on the ends of my rainbow. So I'm gonna get some blue on my brush, and then do some swirlies down here to make it look like clouds. Yay! Nice swirly clouds. Excellent. All right, and I just done my rainbow. Yay, I'm so proud of you. All right, so that was a great way to practice. Okay, I know that to take care of my paints, I got to make sure that I rinse out my brush before I go to a new color. That way it's nice and clean, all right, and I'm not mixing up my colors. And check this out, my paints are still nice and pretty, all right, because I didn't mix anything up. All right, now let's talk a little bit about how we're going to be able to mix up colors, all right? Not in your paints, because we want to keep these clean. Remember, I'm going to show you that's where this tin foil that I gave you comes into play, all right? So we're going to make a different picture. Hang tight. All right, for this new uh, picture, I want you to go get some fresh water in your cup. So go take that dirty water to the sink, dump it in the sink, get some clean, fresh water in your water cup.
Okay, awesome. Make sure your paintbrush is nice and clean before we begin. All right, and remember, when you're painting, don't smush that bunny, all right? Don't hurt your bunny. Remember, he's on the end of your paintbrush. You wanna lightly paint. Don't squash him into the, into the paper. It's gonna hurt his ears, okay? So be really gentle. I'm gonna go ahead and get some water on my brush. We're gonna start by making this orange sun, all right? What two colors, if you're looking at your paints, what two colors do you think would make orange? So pretend you don't have orange in your, in your uh, um, paint set. What two colors do you think would give you orange? Well, that's right. You would, if you use red, so I'm gonna start by getting some red on my brush. I'm gonna get a little bit of red on my brush and put some red here on my tin foil. Put a little bit of red here. Then I'm gonna wash my brush out because if I dip this red into that yellow, what's gonna happen to the yellow? That's right, it's gonna get icky. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash my brush out. Okay, get it nice and clean. Then I'm gonna dip into the yellow. I'm gonna put that yellow in that red. Ooh, and I get a beautiful orange, yes! All right, so mixing red and yellow makes orange. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint my beautiful orange sun. So this entire picture that we're gonna paint is gonna be all you mixing your own colors, which is pretty impressive, you kindergarten artist. All right, I'm gonna paint my beautiful orange sun using the colors that I mixed together, using that orange that I mixed together, using red and yellow. Beautiful! All right, now I'm gonna rinse out my brush again because I'm ready to do something new. Rinse, rinse, rinse. There we go, get it nice and clean. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make uh, this beautiful green for our stem and leaf and the grass, all right? Look at your paints and I want you to see Pretend you don't have green. Pretend you have to mix it up. What two colors do you think will give you green? Go ahead and think about it. Hmm. That's right, blue and yellow. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna go ahead and get some blue on my brush. All right, get some blue on my brush. I'm gonna put the blue somewhere else on my tin foil. I got a lot of tin foil to work with, so I'm gonna put it somewhere else on my tin foil. Put some blue there. Then I'm gonna wash my brush out because if I put this in the yellow, it's gonna get icky, right? So I gotta go ahead and rinse, rinse, rinse my brush out till my brush is nice and clean. All right, then I'm gonna dip in the yellow and I'm gonna add that yellow to that blue. <gasps> and I get a beautiful green, look at that. Oh my goodness, so blue and yellow together make green. I'm gonna go ahead and paint my grass. If you need a little bit of water to make your paint easier to spread, you can add a little bit of water to your brush. Do some green grass. And then I'm gonna paint a stem and a leaf. Look at that. For my flower. Okay. I mixed that green up myself, isn't that cool? All right, I'm so proud of you. All right, go ahead and rinse off your brush. Okay. The next one, all I want you to do right now is get some yellow on your brush and then paint a circle right in the middle, right here, that's gonna be the middle of your flower. Just paint yellow for now, okay? Then go ahead and rinse out your brush again. Rinse, rinse, rinse. All right, next, I want to paint purple. I want to paint a beautiful purple flower, okay? So I want some purple petals for my flower. Go ahead and look at your paints. Pretend you didn't have purple. What if you had to mix up your own purple, right? What two colors do you think will give you purple if you mix them together? Hmm, hmm, what do you think? That's right, red and blue. If I mix red and blue together, I'm gonna get purple. So the first thing I wanna do, I'm gonna go ahead and get some blue on my brush. Get some blue on my brush. Put it on my tin foil somewhere else on my tin foil. Add some blue. Very good. Adding some blue. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off because I can't put this dirty paintbrush in the red. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Rinse it off. Get some red on your brush when your brush is all clean. 
All right, add that red to that blue. <gasps> And I get a beautiful purple. Now, I want you to take a look at it. If your purple looks too blue, like it looks like it's too blue, it just is asking you for more red. So if my purple looks a little too blue, I'm going to give it some more red. Now, if your purple looks too red, it's asking you for some more blue, all right? So that's kind of how you balance, right? You're like, oh man, I need to balance, right? How much red and how much blue do I need to get my purple, all right? So if it looks too red, all right, go ahead and give it a little bit of blue to balance it back and get till you get a nice purple there, all right? I'm gonna go ahead and take my purple, right? And make some flower petals. Paint some flower petals around your yellow circle. Beautiful. And that goes for, that balancing goes for all the colors. If your green uh, looked a little too yellow, it was going to need some more blue. If it looked too blue, it need more yellow, all right? If your orange looked too that you mix up look too yellow, it needed more red. If it looked too red, it needed more yellow. So it's really just you balancing, okay? How much of the color does it need till I can get it to what I'm trying to get, right? Go ahead and rinse out that brush again. Last thing we're going to do, okay? Did you know that you can mix up your own brown? Well, you can, all right? Three colors are used to mix up brown. Pretend you don't have a brown. Go ahead and look at your paints. What three colors do you think, if you didn't count brown, what three colors do you think will give you brown, all right? Think about it. That's right, the primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. So if we use red, yellow, and blue, we should be able to mix up a brown. So go ahead and what I always like to do is I start by mixing up a purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my blue, add some more blue to my purple, rinse out my brush because I don't want a dirty brush before I dip into a new color. I'm gonna put some red on my brush, mix up a nice purple with the red and the blue, all right? And now rinse, 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 right, till it's nice and clean. I'm going to dip it in the yellow. I get lots of yellow on your brush and add that to your purple. You should get a nice brown there. There you go. Rinse it, right, so you get a nice brown. You might have to balance it a little bit, right? And this is one that if you need an adult's help, you should ask your adult for a little bit of help if you're still not getting it, all right? But brown is mixed up with red, yellow, and blue. Pretty cool. All right, once I have a brown that I like, I'm going to go ahead and paint over that, that circle till the center of my flower is brown. Check that out. All right, and you just painted an entire picture, right, of colors that you mixed up, my kindergarten artist. You are fabulous. Thank you so much for joining me in the art room today. Remember to wash out your brush. All right, rinse, 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 all right? Dump out your dirty water, take care of your brush, okay? Uh, remember, there's still a little bunny clinging onto there, so care, take care of it, all right? Don't let the hairs go out, all right? Uh, go ahead and carefully pack up your paints. If you have paints that you got from me, all right? If these are paints from me, what I want you to do is I want you to carefully pack them up, but if you wouldn't mind putting them back in to that bag that I sent it home with, if you wouldn't mind putting it back in here, and then if you could send just the paints back to me, all right, and if you want to send back the extra paint brushes, that would be great too, all right, clean off the brushes and then send them back with the paint, all right, in this packet, uh, you won't have the paper in there because you'll have already used the paper, all right, but send that back to me uh, uh, through the pickup line uh, uh, when you get a chance, all right, so You'll just send this back through the pickup line, all right, uh, and uh, hand it to whoever is picking up your stuff there. Uh, that would be great so I can get uh, these paints back and we can use them again in our for our classroom, all right? Awesome. Please do that for me. Uh, and if you'd like these to count, your rainbow and your flower to count uh, towards your art grade, just take a picture of them, right? Take a picture of what you made. Okay, and then send it, uh, send them to me, uh, to my email address, or if your adult uses Remind, you can send them to me through Remind um, so I can count them towards your art credit. Thank you so much for being with us today. I can't wait to see you next time, a kindergarten artist. Uh, and remember, 
practice with your paints remember to rinse off your brush before you go to a new color and make sure to treat that paintbrush with respect right so be very careful with it and don't smash your bunny uh into your paper okay see you next time bye